So everyone always talks about the prostitutes here, right? There is so much to Cut tell you about Mitchell. this red light district. Next call. That is just sub shitheads. Hilarious. Hilarious, dude. The red light. One of them took Hanzo Gonzo's glasses off. Dude, yeah, I recently went to Universal Studios. And when I went to Universal Studios, I went to the Walking Dead maze, right? So it's like a haunted <laughs> maze where you walk Thank around you. and then like crazy zombies jump out and spook you through the windows and shit, you know? That's exactly how the red light district <laughs> is. Thank it's you. freezing cold outside. It's like a party town. There's water. People are drinking and shit. <laughs> Thank and you. then you're walking and this prostitute just pops up and scares <laughs> the you. shit out of you. They're everywhere. Prostitutes and they're very like not, not human like. You know how zombies are like <laughs> Thank you. They used to be human but now they're not human. It's kind of like that. They're not behaving in a human like <laughs> fashion because they're selling themselves right in a way. So, not in a way, that's exactly what they're doing. Thank so you. they'll be on their cell phone, smoking a cigarette, and looking pissed. Like, they wish they stayed in school. You know what I mean? You can see it in their face. Should have stayed in school. So they're on their cell phone, they're pissed. But then you walk up, and it's Thank like, you. you know those vending machines where the lights turn off until you walk up to the vending machine, and then it turns on for business? That's exactly how they are. They're pissed, pissed, pissed. You walk up, <laughs> boom, you. open for business. I'm sexy. I'm tapping the glass. I got my cooch out. It is like endless entertainment, dude. Easily the funniest part of the whole trip has been walking around the red light district talking shit about these prostitutes nonstop. And then there's like these side streets where the bargain prostitutes are, where they're like, you know, high mileage, you know, Maybe they're into, like, maybe you're into some weird <laughs> shit. Thank There's you. some, oh, man. Some of it's a little too hot for TV. But let me tell you the thing that, so I'll be honest. Naturally, you're a little curious, right? How is this going to work out? You're intrigued. But once you're there, right, at least for me, it would be literally impossible to achieve any kind of accomplishment <laughs> in that Thank environment, you. right? Because it's freezing cold outside. Imagine this. You're freezing cold. You're like wearing all your gear so that you stay warm. Gloves, you know, four pairs of pants. So you're cold, right? And there is a prostitute behind this like fog door. She's like a boss, right? And if you were to go in there, right? You have to make this shit happen immediately or else you're going to get ripped off. And I'm not going to name names, but some people who were here for the world <laughs> tour, you. they were not happy with what they got at all. At all. Let me tell you, there are people not pleased. Anyway, word on the street is that it's a total fucking ripoff. Like the biggest ripoff ever. Like you walk in and they talk to you and then you <laughs> owe them Thank and you. it's over or some shit. I mean, the details from the word on the street, you have to really negotiate the details. Like, <laughs> Thank it you. just seems so not human to me, right? This is a person. This is allegedly, I think they're synths personally. I don't know. But allegedly, this is a person that you're supposed to walk through the fog door, the music starts, the life bar is there, and you're supposed to negotiate a sexual transaction with them. And you're supposed to be very, like, uh, I guess, concrete, so you don't get ripped off. And everyone gets ripped off. Oh, man. <sighs> it's been a pretty fun trip. I feel like I've been laughing at people and prostitutes the whole time. I've smiled a lot. Lots of jokes. And I didn't even mention, you know, that prostitute area with all the, you know, like the green, what's it called? Green light area, red light district. It looks just like Yarnum too. There's these like, if you go in the side alleys, they kind of have these cobblestones <laughs> and they like you. curve. You can't see what's down the alley. And there's these windows. I told you the side streets, the side hoes, those are the ones that are the most funny because... You can't, apparently the way it works is you rent out the prostitute space, right? 
So if I'm a prostitute, I want to rent out the, like the main strip, like Las Vegas, it's the main strip, right? But if you don't got the dough to rent out a main strip prostitute area, you got to go off the side area, right? The like I love bits. cheaper ones, right? Dude, the cheaper ones are the funniest. They're like the prostitutes that are like missing an arm or, you know, oh my God, some of them. And then there's blue lights. I don't think there's a blue light district because I haven't found it, but I've been looking. The blue lights, and you know, I don't know if I mentioned it, but every one of these prostitutes is wearing a bikini, like no clothes, zero clothes, almost none. Cooch, teats, the works, right? Cut that bitch off. And that also. Let's call her. What's your Patreon link, cutie? Smile, smile. I'm sorry, I can't see any of that stuff. Mm, anyway, what was I talking about? Blue light district. So there, I don't think there was a district. I don't Cut think there is a district. Off. But I think that there are like alleys. Riri, low. Hey, thanks very much. Mm, there are alleys where they group the blue lights together. Oh, <laughs> my Thank you. God. I have <laughs> Thank never you. in my 34 years seen anything like this in my entire life. They're like, they have wieners. They're transgender female prostitutes that still have secret hot dogs, but they're wearing a bikini. So the cat's out of the bag. What's the secret about? There's no secret, right? They're, and they're just standing there and they're very aggressive. Um, they're Chaneling energy. Some of them are like trying to get out of there. They're like really banging on that glass, you know, <laughs> trying to get your attention. Thank you. Jesus Christ. And they're, okay, so most of, I would say, there's a lot of prostitutes. It's not just like one little area. There are countless, uh, endless, endless, lots of them, right? And the thing is that most of them look very weird. Very, very weird. Like if you, and it's not weird to look at them, right? It's at first your instinct is like, you know, like, you make eye contact and immediately look away, right? Because it's like such a weird thing. But you're supposed to look at that, Cut that right? Bitch off. Anyway, if you're okay, my personal advice: if you're coming here for a prostitute, the red light district, it's no way, dude. You can't get anything done there. There's no way. Okay, imagine it, right? There's a prostitute here. There's a door, right? It's freezing freezing cold you open the door and negotiate some deal where you go in for whatever amount of time you're gonna spend so much time just getting warmed up it takes you 10 fucking minutes to get all your clothes off right and then think about the stress all the people out there saw you go in all the people are gonna see you go out this is not some private i mean impossible it's literally impossible to get anything done in there no way no way no candle no romance nothing it's like it's like crazy it's insane there are some people that okay so the day we got here my number one priority was to go walk around that area with somebody who is literally interested in doing this shit right I'm way too much of a pussy for this shit, dude. Way too much of a pussy. Me and No Pants were walking around, and it took all our courage to even talk to one of these prostitutes. Even, like, just with the door open. It's, it, you gotta really have some serious balls to just open the door. Hey, I can't tell you who, but there was someone here that was just like every door. He was opening that shit up. What up? Talking shit to him. And then I'll be right back. I'm going to do a couple Thank rounds. You. I mean, literally just like, it was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. I can't, I'm not going to tell you who it was, but he was talking to one of the girls who had a blue light and he didn't know what the blue light meant. And this girl 
didn't obviously have a hot dog, right? <laughs> and so Thank you. we had to tell him, hey, dude, that's a blue light. And, and then he's like, what, what does that mean? And then we told him, and he was so like, he said that if we hadn't saved him and if, if he had gone through with it, he would have just jumped into the canal. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, man, it was such a funny trip. Those prostitutes are hilarious. It's like a fucking haunted house. It's crazy. That shit, I've been laughing for five days straight at prostitutes. It's unbelievable. And they got pissed. Thank you. Okay, so I'm walking around and I'm talking shit about prostitutes, right? Like, oh, look Thank at that you. one, look at that one. So we're going back and forth. You know, and there's... Eventually, one of these prostitutes got pissed about all the shit I was talking, and she came out and started talking shit back to me. I was like, damn. If only she wasn't a prostitute, it might be meant to be. Anyway, that was pretty funny. Mm, but yeah, I've been just walking around the red light district talking shit about prostitutes the whole time. <laughs> Prostitute morale in Amsterdam is at an all-time low. Should have stayed in school. 